Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here on yet another glorious bagel Sunday. I have a special treat for you. We've got a kitty under a tree. We've got a shark on a notch. <laughs> You can run, but you can't hide. Okay, we're gonna go get bagels now. Well, I gotta say folks that last night, or yesterday, whilst I was doing the whole thing in the garage, when I put the ZV-E1 up on the new mount in the garage, and then I went back and looked at all the footage and everything, I gotta say, I was pretty happy with the footage on this camera. I don't care what you tell me, I'll argue with footage. You cannot beat an actual camera for filming rather than an action camera. Even the Pocket 3, I don't care. As soon as the light goes down, if you're like not outside, as soon as you get inside, you can absolutely see in my footage that it starts to break down. And that drives me crazy, especially when I'm filming in my studio with that Action 4. I'm perfectly lit, like perfectly. There's no reason for that footage to look as not good as it does. And, you know, every time I go through, I'm looking, I was like, man, that looks like shit. You just can't beat one of these freaking cameras that's made for this shit. Like, this ZV-E1 is made for filming. When it gets right down to it, I like filming on these better. So, today, I'm filming on this. I don't know what's going on with my back, other than the fact that, you know, I went back on the road, and I sat in this freaking Forerunner for, like, 14 hours a day without moving, other than shifting, you know? Compared to being at home, even though I'm at home and I'm sitting in my office, I'm still getting up constantly to go pee, to run downstairs to grab something, leaving, riding around, doing all kinds of shit. You know, I am not sitting there like I am here. And, I, and I, clearly that affects me. I can't live like this with my back constantly being in, in like, number one, achy, and number two, being on the verge of like seizing. I got shit to do. I can't be coddling myself and sitting around doing nothing. So, you know, it's like, it's going to be another day that I'm not going to work in the garage, you know, putting the shelves together more than likely, because right now my lower back is just really tight and it feels like it's going to cease. And as soon as I start lifting shit and moving stuff and bending over and, and all that crap, it's, it's going to get bad. So, eh, lots to do today as usual, but perhaps not what I really want to do because I want to get that garage done but I can't. Let's go get bagels, because we are hungry. And I did not get the, the full big on lox and bagels. I, I got like an everything bagel with veggie cream cheese, because I'm trying to be better. So either way, I'm gonna snarf the shit out of it. Let's go get it. Bagels gotten. And they smell delicious. So let's go snarf them. Okay, kids, dumb monkey wins. I cannot not do this today. I kind of feel like, you know what, I just need to fucking get this done. I'll just take it easy and use my head and use techniques that I've learned over 25 years of having this issue to not hurt myself. And if I hurt myself, I can go to the chiropractor tomorrow morning. Yes, I can feel the cringe from certain people. Okay, kids, that was a freaking nightmare. I'm gonna spare you all the gory details, and I will just tell you this. That stupid shelving 
unit that I bought, there were one, two, three, four cross members on each side. One of them was like an inch too short. And it took me like three times longer to put this together before I finally realized that's what was happening. So I had to eliminate one shelf altogether and just spread them out so that they made sense for the shit that I have left. It fit everything just fine, but holy crap, I am whooped. So here's the completed project. Okay, so here we go. We have this shelving unit. Then we have the second shelving unit. Everything is stacked up on there. This now is where the, the pull-up thingy, majigger, dip thing goes. That's where the bench will be. That is where the treadmill is going to go. All this stuff is all put back together. I put the little wooden shelfy thing back in there and zip tied it to the shelves so that I could still put all of my like shovels and all the shit that I hardly ever use but I need a place for. Maddie's not going anywhere and I kept the mirror because she likes to look, not Maddie, my wife likes to check herself when she goes to work. Okay, everything else stays the same. Okay, that's just a bag of garbage. That's a bag of her clothes that needs to go. I probably need to ditch this chair. I'll keep the fan for when I'm working out here and it's freaking awful. Those two bikes have been sitting there for a, like almost a decade since we moved here and we haven't used them. They need to go away. So I'm gonna get rid of those two bikes. I'm also probably going to get rid of my inversion table, which I never use because I was gonna bring that down here just to get it out of the way, but there's not enough fucking room for it. And then when I get the treadmill, that's gonna go basically right there and that'll be that. So, okay, if you wanna call it a man cave, go right ahead. It's not a man cave, it's a freaking junk depository that I've managed to move into some semblance of controlled chaos and now I can come down here and do shit that I wanna do. All right, I've had enough. It's as soon as I sit down for any length of time, I am going to immediately shut down, I can tell. I don't think my back is too messed up. I mean, it didn't go out, so yay. But I desperately need to go to Three Ships now and get some beans, so that's what we're gonna do. So let's freaking go. <laughs> okay, here's some much needed shit in your eye. And as I predicted on my drive down here, just sitting for that short amount of time, I could barely like peel myself out of the forerunner. So definitely gonna do this and go home and, and start my Sunday routine. So if I sit down, uh, I'm done. And I got shit to do, so. So yeah, shit in your eye, more shit at home. Let's do it. Okay, all the beans have been gotten. I'm shutting down fast. I would have stuck around there a lot more, but the longer I sat there, the more I could feel everything just sort of like tightening. And I need to get home because I need to start laundry and I need to start, well, I, I mean, it kind of at this point, <laughs> see, I'm already talking myself out of it. I, I need to do day job stuff, but I don't need to do day job stuff because now I'm not going on the road. So I don't give a fuck. And I, and I have all week to do shit. So rather than losing, you know, three days of being on the road, I'm, I'm going to be home getting stuff done. So not too concerned. That being said, I still have shit that I need to do. So I'm going to get home now and I'm going to do it. I'm tired. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.